Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Listen, today I'm making this video on mealybugs. And uh, if you saw my video on veteran orchids, I did a video unboxing the orchids that I just got. And as you saw, uh, they came in pretty, really good health. There's one. There's this one. They're in really good health. But I, I didn't take a real good look for pests until after I did the video, I looked closer and this particular plant was a problem. Overall health is great. It has nice roots, uh, but I noticed that it has mealybugs. Now, if you don't know what mealybugs are, it's basically a, a form of scale. Well, actually, it's the opposite. Scale is a form of a mealybug. The only difference is that scale has a little covering, like a little hood, so you only see the little round shields, and then they walk under it, and they carry their little shield with them like a little turtle. So the mealybug is a type of scale that is furry. It has fluffy webbing. And I'm going to show you pictures of what they look like. Uh, where'd they go? And I also did a video on pointing out the scale with my phone because I want to do a close up. So if you do not see it in this video as, as I'm pointing it out, look, look for the other video where I do my close-up but with my phone and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about also what I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to dislodge the actual mealybugs so that you guys can see what they look like and you know coming from this particular plant so there's many types of mealybugs and basically they look like that. The ones that I have, I used a little chopstick to help me point. So there's many varieties, a lot. But this one, where is this one right here is what I think I have. I don't know the scientific name for it. I just know it's a mealy bug, it's a pest. It's going to suck the juices of your orchid they reproduce really fast they they create an infestation very very quick potentially you don't want them because there's uh, an enlargement of what it looks like and they have this little proboscis that they put into your orchid and then they suck out the juices now when it becomes a real problem is when you have ants and I have another picture of mealybugs on another plant. Mealybugs do not only infect, or excuse me, infest orchids. They also uh, infest other plants like tomatoes, hibiscus, anything that's fleshy, they're going to eat it. Now, when you have ants, it's a problem, it's worse, because the ant and the mealybug have a symbiotic relationship where the ant protects the mealybug from being eaten, and in exchange, the ant eats the liquid that they excrete. It's called honeydew, and it's sweet, and it's high in uh, sugars. Uh, that's why they eat it. So if you have ants and mealybugs, that's not good. And the reason, another main reason why you don't want to keep them is because they're vectors for viruses so if you if you have one plant that is virused and that mealybug goes to another plant then guess what now that other plant will get infected with that virus so you have to be very careful not to do that or, or try to eradicate them as soon as possible. Now what I do for scale, the heart scale, and I'm gonna use it to kill these also, 
but I'm going to do a test first because what you don't want to do is to use your insecticide right away we, because you could it could you don't know how the plant is going to react so you want to be very careful you got to do a test on the side and um, and if it doesn't damage the leaf then you can go ahead and apply it so the ingredients in this particular insecticide that I have if you look in the in the in the inside uh, can you guys read that maybe right there I don't know if you can read that the name is imidacloprid tau fluvalinate and oops get over here sorry and the third ingredient that's used active ingredient to kill the mealybugs and insects is tebuconazole. So as long as your insecticide has this and it says that it kills scale and orchid and scale and mealybugs, that's what you need for this. So what I'm gonna do is well first off I want to dislodge the mealybugs so you guys can see them. There's a mealybug there. If you cannot see it, the other video will be better because I'm using my cell phone. There's two there. Clearly, you see the tails and a baby one. And on the other side, you're going to see that webbing, that cottony webbing. And you see two other mealybugs. So, I'm going to attempt to dislodge them. So normally, if you don't have insecticide, you could use hydrogen peroxide or you could use 70% rubbing alcohol. Just rub it on there. The rubbing alcohol, like rub the insect with it and it dehydrates them and kills it. I don't recommend sp spraying the whole plant with the alcohol. You just dab it. Like you could use a tooth... Um, a Q-tip, dab it in alcohol, and then apply it to the insect. But I want you to—I want you to see the actual animal. So I'm not going to dab it. I'm going to take them out. So I have this book here, and it's black. So I'm going to try to drop it in here, so that you guys can see. So I'm going to put it like this. And I must gently scrape it and then bring out the creature. Come on, little mealybug. Oh, it's moving. Hey! Here's some cottony stuff that I got. I saw it fall. Did you guys see it fall? Oh, there it is. I found it. See, I wear reading glasses, so sometimes I have, I'm hard of seeing. So I, it's right there. You see it right there? Right there. So there's one, I wanna dislodge the other one. So let's see if I can get it. Well, there's more webbing. Where did it go? Well, I'm gonna go to the other side. And what and see, what happened was that I didn't think that anything was wrong with this plant. What I saw was this droplet of a liquid and it looked like dirty water. So when I tried to wipe it off, it was sticky. So I knew instinctively that it was honeydew because when I was at the botanical at the botanical gardens uh, doing volunteer work and cleaning orchids for pests, that was a telltale sign that you have mealybugs. So I, already, I knew that there was mealybugs in here. 
So I wipe it down and it, it was honeydew sticky. So on this side, I'm going to dislodge the other ones because I don't want them in my organ. So, hold on. It's difficult, but I'll get it. So I see one, there's two. And the baby. Give me a little baby. Okay, I got him. The right there. Can you see it? Put it over here. So I can see now. I'm trying to take it off from the Okay, there you go. It's walking. There you go. There is one there, one there, one there. Look, it's moving. You see it? So make sure you get rid of them because everything else, and you have to quarantine the plant. I'm quarantining this plant because the eggs are go into the media. So I'm killing them. Ha ha ha. So I'm also going to test my plant. I'm just going to spray this lower leaf a little bit. Like that. I did two sprays. Right here. So if this withers and he doesn't like it, at least... I only lose this lower older leaf. So that's my video on mealybugs. We want to eradicate them. So I hope you like you found this video informative and it helps you in keeping your plants or your orchid collection healthy. So talk to you later. Bye bye.